This is the first iteration of my ducted fan quadcopter and it doesn't fly. So I built a three inch quad a couple months ago. It's just a regular forest setup with standard three inch props. And I wanted to see how a similar size drone with the same motors, battery and flight controller could perform using homemade ducted fans. I printed this very crude unibody frame that houses everything from the battery, flight controller, receivers, motors, and ducts. It's simple, but it works, although it took a couple tries to print. I actually was able to print this with 0% infill in Cura, and it turned out to be structurally solid while weighing the lightest amount possible, although it probably wouldn't survive uh, a medium to high crash. And so this design, at least structurally, is pretty simple. The real point of this project is to test how well my homemade fans would perform, and the result is not well. I had a ton of issues even being able to print a fan this small. These fans are 33 millimeters total in width, and so any type of detail is extremely difficult to print. This is the final design I landed on here, using supports to print the actual blades on this. Um, this was the best detail I could kind of squeeze out of my printer in the current design and slicing orientation. As you can see, there's significant warping and inconsistencies, particularly on the edges, this leading to imbalances, which is the cardinal sin of propeller manufacturing. And this was after a good five or six tries um, of propellers that didn't even work. So I used a kitchen scale to test thrust. I subtracted the amount of mass removed when the drone was at 33% throttle from the mass of the drone at the beginning. I got about four grams off, so four grams of thrust which is about 1.5% of what I need to hover. So clearly I'm a long, long way off. I am accelerating air though, just not nearly enough to get off the ground. Here's a quick demo of flow visualization using sand. So why even attempt this in the first place? Currently my only justification is that fully assembled EDFs are pretty expensive compared to these just regular 5,000 kV motors that I ordered off Amazon. Four comparable 30 millimeter EDFs would be double what I paid for for these original quadcopter motors that I got in my previous build. But if the development for these homemade fans take too long, I'll probably just go ahead and spend on these EDFs. More of the point of this project is the application of EDFs and quadcopters in general. I do think EDF drones are worth pursuing. Right now I'm thinking about the applications of drones in urban environments and concepts like drone delivery are currently limited by safety, noise, and performance limitations of regular propeller drones. The ducks in these EDF vehicles kills kind of three birds with one stone. Not literally, because first, safety. Um, the ducks obviously add a layer of security by enclosing the fan blades, and on compound collisions, this can prove to be very useful. Many drones, especially ones used in urban environments, already employ prop guards as a safety measurement, and so these ducks are essentially a built-in prop guard that serves aerodynamic purposes. But before we get to that, noise is also a major concern for the use of drones in neighborhoods and cities. There have been multiple studies showing how deeply affected people are by UAV noise in places where drone delivery systems has already been implemented, and how noise from open props drones actually contributes to noise pollution as a whole in a given city. Ducted fans can offer methods of acoustic dampering that aren't available in just regular open prop configurations, primarily in how these ducts are designed, but also through the blade count of the fan itself, the geometry, and intake and exhaust designs. Whereas open propellers have little potential on this front, although there are innovations recently, such as a toroidal propeller made by the MIT Lincoln Lab, um, that has been shown to reduce noise and operation quite significantly. And then performance-wise, it's commonly shown how ducted fans are superior to a similarly sized propeller in terms of efficiency, particularly in hover. This duct eliminates much of the blades and vortices formed by the fan, which greatly reduces the induced drag and energy losses of the setup. This is a concept that's talked about ad nauseum, uh, especially on the internet, and the aerodynamic justification for this is relatively straightforward, I think. Yeah, so that's why I'm setting out on this project. In terms of what I need to improve, Obviously, it needs everything. Firstly, I think this design needs a full remodel. Uh, the design is in the frame itself and the orientation of the ducts. Since the quad motors are pretty fat, the fan swept area of my EDFs here are actually extremely small, only about 660 millimeter squared each. 
extending these ducts to a 50 millimeter EDF um, would be a great start. Uh, it would be a matter of whether or not these motors could handle that type of loading. The battery alone accounts actually for two thirds of the total mass of this quad. So I'd either want to downsize the battery or again, increase the body size and thus the fan swept area um, with larger EDFs. The second most pressing way to improve um, this design is the manufacturing of the fan itself. A modular design as opposed to printing it in one big body could allow me to print the blades in extreme detail and complexity, allowing for a fan blade design more like the ones you'd get in a bot EDF that is, you know, casted um, and stuff like that. I think that printing at these angles with the supports I was running definitely has limitations when you're going for the detail that this print demands. Again, balance and precision is kind of the name of the game, especially when it comes to performance and acoustics. Yeah, so that's all I have uh, for this video. I'm hoping for this to be an explanation kind of for why I'm trying this in the first place and to mark the first start of a likely long series of videos on my ducted fan designs. So thank you guys for watching.